Welcome to the Lincolnshire Heritage Services Archaeology Store. I'm Dawn Hayward, Senior Collections Development Officer. Um, part of my role is to care for and look after many different types of collection in the Heritage Service, but that includes the archaeology collection, which contains many thousands of objects, including the items stored behind me here in these trays, and that includes gold and silver items. So, for instance, this Bronze Age gold ring. A lot of our collections come in through the commercial archaeology process and thousands of objects are added each year but there are other routes and I'm going to explain some of those today. Uh, they include items which might have been declared treasure, casual finds uh, from individual members of the public which may be offered to us as a gift or we may go into a private sale and that is the way that we add to our collections every year. So for example, this beautiful 16th century dress hook found at Waplode was an item that was discovered whilst field walking and it was declared as treasure and we were able to acquire that with external funding. So the treasure process works with if, if items are found and they're considered to be treasure, it's a legal obligation to report them to the coroner and then the items go off to identification and verification at the British Museum, the treasure team there, but also locally through our finds liaison officer who we work with very closely and she's part of the portable antiquities scheme. So members of the public can report their finds and they will be identified and if they're are declared treasure because that means they have content of more than 10% gold and silver and they are over 300 years old and if all of those criteria are met we are asked if we as the local museum in Lincolnshire we want to express an interest in acquiring it and if that is the case an independent valuation is made and then we're able to hopefully get the funds together and go ahead and acquire the item and that uh, is then split between the landowner and the finder and um, very occasionally uh, the landowner or finder may wa waive their fee and we're able to uh, accept the item as a gift instead. Um, so the items in front of me here have all been um, declared uh, treasure uh, so this includes this lovely pommel mount which was found at Claythorpe. Now this is a Viking period item uh, it's silver with a yellow inlay and you can see lots of little um, creatures in the interlaced design on the front of that and uh, that item was um, we were able to get external funding to add that to our collection. We acquire items if they meet our collecting policy, if we feel that something will really significantly add to the benefit of our collections in terms of how we can interpret those collections and the, the bearing it will have on the um, history of the county of Lincolnshire. Not everything we find uh, comes through the treasure process of course and um, we also have a wide range of objects that come through different routes in, into the collection. So for instance we were really pleased when this object was offered to us through donation, this uh, lovely carved stone head which was found at Calsby and it would have been from the church there. Now the donor's father had found it years before and had just held on to it and it had been in their garden and in their home and it was just a few years ago it was then donated to the museum and that's what we really enjoy about our job because we never quite know what's going to be found and what's going to turn up on the doorstep. Not everything we accept has been discovered in the in the last few years. And the types of objects that we receive really cover the whole of human history in Lincolnshire and again that's what makes it such a, an interesting and, and fascinating job. So for instance we have these uh, lovely stone axes, a uh, polished axe there and they have all been discovered locally and then also the um, cannonball that you see here which will have been from the Civil War and so again it just tells us a lot about what has been happening in the county many thousands of years ago but also a few hundred years ago with uh, all the battles that were happening in the county for instance. 
We're always interested to hear from everyone who may have found something which they may want to have identified or we can put you in touch with the Fines Liaison Officer and especially if you have something which you think might be treasure as well and that needs to be declared. But we'd love to hear from you and uh, we can record the fines and put those on the Portable Antiquities Scheme database and all of that knowledge uh, will be added to what we already know about the county and it will be available for lots of people in the future.